Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard here. And tonight I was going through Twitter, as you can see, and I saw the HHN 30 um, speculation maps for this is, of course, for Universal Studios Florida about what um, mazes can come to, um, are speculated to come for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. And I checked this map on uh, two different sources. Um, there's a lot of sources on Facebook also post this type of stuff. And I double checked because I saw Billie Eilish here. I was like, Billie Eilish, what? So I went to Facebook in the loop, and you should definitely follow them. And looks like it's the same map. So Billie Eilish is a maze, or is it's just, I, cause I know they have performances, like they have a performance stage. So I guess Billie Eilish is um, performing. But if there's a Billie Eilish themed maze, because she is a bad guy, that would be pretty cool as well. Well, let's go through these mazes or mazes slash entertainment slash and attraction attractions one by one. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, about ten of them. And Billie Eilish is listed under haunted houses. So I guess Billie Eilish is Billie Eilish is a maze or something like that. Very curious about that one. But let's start with the poppies. Beetlejuice. That should be a funny one. Um, a good one, a classic attraction. That's A, looks like it's going to be right by Hollywood Rip Rocket right here. Um, and, and that's a cool attraction. Um, should be a nice, again, kind of, I feel like it would be kind of like a Ghostbusters with kind of humorous style maze. And then B, and sorry if I'm like sniffling as a, allergies are definitely getting to me, um, as you've probably seen if you watch my past videos. Um, my eyes, my nose are all, all affected. But luckily, knock on wood, it's not too bad. And I definitely uh, feel bad for those poor people out there who have the coronavirus and are in hospital. So hopefully that uh, that isn't you. And hopefully you don't know someone that's in a hospital. And if you do, then praying and hoping that everyone gets better and they recover rather quickly. Um, <laughs> And on that related note, guys, definitely stay inside, stay at home. Um, keep your social distancing apart from people. It's very important so we can get back to normal and so everyone can recover from the coronavirus. But moving on over, and plus we want to get back to normal because we want to, you know, do things like Halloween Horror Nights. Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando starts really early in August, I believe, late August, I believe it started last year. So we want to be somewhat done by then. <laughs> Um, hopefully with this virus. So this can continue. Um, letter, or uh, next maze here is Universal's, you know, Universal Monsters Maze, um, The Bride. I really like that you know, Universal Monsters getting more representation in Halloween Horror Nights, getting its own land at Epic Universe. So this, um, this will be a really good maze and looks like obviously it's an original maze because you know, Universal Monsters, The Bride, um, which is you know, that should be pretty cool. Um, and it's like a little, uh, it seems like a rare known monster because it's not just Frankenstein or you know, the well known ones. We're talking about a bride here, maybe the bride of Frankenstein or the bride of Chucky. No, not Chucky. See, it looks like another original maze, I think. Let's see. Let me double check, and I'm gonna be looking on Google and bedtime stories because some of the, um. Uh, Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So I'm being looking on um, Google for some of these just to see if they're original mazes or if they're again just an IP. There's some some names I just don't recognize. So this bedtime stories could be a variation of scary stories to tell in the dark, or it could just be an original maze. But if it's scary stories to tell in the dark, I heard this is a pretty good movie. I like seventy eight percent Rotten Tomatoes, and not the greatest, but I heard people really liked it. Um, especially like uh, Guillermo del Toro, 
Um, so that should be, when, even if it's a, whether it's original or whether it's um, a scary story, so I'm talking, it should be pretty good. Like this one, next one, Tara sent her, Tara, sorry, Tara Crew, Kruntas. Kruntas? That sounds very interesting. And it looks like it's. N All right. So this this is gonna be a universal original maze because um, apparently this character has appeared or this symbol has appeared before on, of course, Halloween Horror Nights fandom. So you guys may know of the Terror Queen, but she'll be making a reappearance at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, potentially. So oh, that should be, I feel like that would be pretty terrifying. Billie Eilish, I'm still not quite sure what's what's going on here. If it's still like because again, they have performance stages, but that was they, like Rob Zombie was a scare uh a scare zone last year at Orlando. But Billie Eilish, mates, very very interesting. Very curious about this one. Um, if you guys know about anything about the speculation of Billy Eilish and the maze, or what this maze can be about, definitely let me know in the comments below. Dungeon of Terror sounds like an original maze, um, as well, or just an old universal property that should be super cool and probably probably has to do something with dragons and maybe some zombies will be in there because you're in a dungeon of a castle so, sounds sounds very uh universal monster z maybe even some frankenstein or um dracula in here because again castle feeling so, adventures of sabrina is a rumor to be in another maze and that is of course from the netflix show of the same name um, so that should be, I feel like that won't be too scary. I feel like it, that'd be like moderate level scary. Haunting of Hill House. Was that a movie? Haunting of Hill House. It was a movie, so 1999. Yeah, because that, that definitely sounds great. So that may as well be based on this movie. Then Legendary Truth, Carrie, Ohio. This is an original maze. Legendary. And so this is another original maze in Halloween Horror Nights fandom, as you can see here. Um, and it looks like it debuted in Halloween Horror Nights Florida in 2010, so it's um making its second debut or coming back 10 years later so that should be good for the fans of that maze over there let me know in the comments below if you went there in 2010 but when this uh this ip or this concept was in the other maze and let me know how the maze was so you know, we can potentially get an idea of how this new mage will be and of course the gremlins and Jay, that's all the way over here. Sorry, guys. Um, you probably can see the letters here, but I mean, um, obviously, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we're making a way, and now we're up here. Gremlins will be over here. Um, and what is sure to be a pretty cool, I feel like this one could be really creative, you know, like set design wise, a pretty cool maze. Scare zones, we have, there's the IPs for them, or the names for them are unknown, but there are about five of them are located at these yellow strips of land here. And so our two shows, the Academy of Villains, which is in this building right here, and the Lagoon show, which is obviously in here in the Lagoon. Um, I wish Universal Studios Hollywood had, had a, like a Lagoon and a World of Color style show, but unfortunately uh, we don't have that here. But lucky you guys in Orlando have that at Islands of Adventure, you have a big Lagoon, and here, are, and in Universal Studios Florida. Um, both parks have a great lagoon. And the attractions that will be open, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, which is the roller coaster over here, Transformers, 
which is over here. No, which is over. Which transformers? Here's four. Here's six. Here's yeah. Um, Men in Black. That's gonna be open. The Green Gods, which is over here, will be open. Um, and I wonder. If, well, that means Diagon Alley will be open as part of um Horror Nights, just like Wizarding Worlds open as well. I wish I always wish that Universal Hollywood open their Wizarding World and do like a like a um, a Death Eater show or something like you guys have over there in Orlando, you lucky, lucky fool, lucky people. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure where Transformers is. Oh, there it is. There's Transformers. Here's Revenge of the Mummy. Wow, they have the two roller coasters, not right next to each other, but kind of overlooking. Um, Revenge of the Mummy, that will be open. And the Simpsons ride, right over here, will be open as well. So that is that that's the, our speculative speculative Halloween Horror Nights 30 map. This is again just for Universal Studios Florida only, not Hollywood or any other um, Universal Parks. This is just for Florida only. And uh, comment what you think of these IPs and original mazes. Um, comment below what you think the scare zones will be, and uh, what you guys what do you guys think of this Billy Eilish? I'm still very curious about this Billy Eilish. Eilish maze here. So let me know your thoughts on all this below and what you'd like to see as an IP or what you'd like to see for the scare zones. And as always, have a, oh also subscribe for more updates as when the, when we get updates in the scare zones and the shows and all that, or if any of these happen to change <laughs> when the original comes out or when the official uh, mazes are announced. Because again, this is a speculation map. Then subscribe for any updates to that. But as always, have a fantastic week.